Hi, my name is Joey Ocardo. I'm the technical manager for EpiRock surface and exploration drills in the US. And in this segment, we're going to discuss how to dismantle and reassemble an accumulator. Let's begin. The first thing we're going to need are tools. We have the fixture for mounting and the special tools used for breaking loose and tightening the accumulator. We have the accumulator itself, a 19 millimeter wrench, a 32 millimeter socket, a suitable ratchet or breaker bar to break it loose with, and then a torque wrench to retighten. So let's go ahead and take it apart. The first thing we want to do after placing the accumulator on the fixture is ensure that the accumulator is empty of nitrogen. We should have already checked this prior to dismounting, of course. However, it's a good idea to second check. So in this case, we're going to use our 19 millimeter wrench The valves for charging on the accumulator have a relief cut for safety. If you hear any gas escaping, stop immediately and let it bleed off the remainder of the way or install a gauge and remove correctly. Once that's removed, we know the accumulator is now safe. We can also press on the diaphragm to make sure that there is in fact no pressure behind it. After doing that, we're going to install the removal tool, the hold down ring, and then we're going to loosely install the two nuts that retain the ring in place. When breaking loose a particularly stuck accumulator center section, this prevents the tool from coming loose and popping off. Then we're going to use our 32 millimeter ratchet. Place it and break it loose. You may require the wrench for removal for the entire way, but in this case the threads are in very good condition and it's coming off freely. Once fully loosened, we can remove the center portion and inspect for any signs of corrosion, damage, galling, or anything else. We can then remove the diaphragm. In this case, we're just taking this one apart to demonstrate. There's nothing wrong with this one. We can reuse this. However, you want to check for signs of impact, any type of cavitation, weakening of the rubber, cuts, nicks, or anything of the type. For more information, contact your local EpiRock Service Center or distributor partner.